Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we have some romance recommendations for you that are forbidden. I love forbidden romances. They're just addicting. They're fun. Like, like you feel like you shouldn't be reading them. They shouldn't be happening, but you're happy they are happening. Also, before we get into the recommendations, I want to mention I do have a part one for this video. I've made this video before, um, so I'll leave my other recommendation video for forbidden romances down below for you to watch if you haven't watched it yet. <laughs> so by some means, these 10 romance books, the couple should not be together because of a certain reason. It's not all the same reason. It's forbidden in some way. And I will talk about how they are forbidden right now. The first book that I have is Haven by Darcy Rose. This is a novella and this is forbidden because it is a stepbrother age gap romance. This romance is about Eve and Dean. And when Eve was younger, her uh, dad got remarried to a woman who had a son named Dean. And Dean is quite older than her and she's had a crush on him since she was a little girl, but he is many years older than her. And he's always saw her as like a little kid sister until her 18th birthday. He's invited to her party and the first moment that he sees her, he is immediately attracted to her. And he's like, what is going on? This is wrong. She is so much younger than me and she's my freaking stepsister. And so the two of them think that they can't be together. And so they go to this certain type of club, club if you can get my meaning, um, to get their frustrations out. And little do they know, they end up like, in a dark room, like they don't know who the other person is that they're with at this club and it's with each other. This one was super hot, it's super fun. I really wanna read the rest of the books in the series. They're like companion books that take place in this club all written by different authors. And I've seen some of my friends talk about the other books in the series. This one is very forbidden. <laughs> and you don't really see like the backlash from them getting together. Like you don't get to see like the result of their relationship. So I could just think positive things <laughs> instead of negative things that could have happened to them after their relationship is revealed, you know. Next I have Between Dawn and Dusk by Jamie Schlosser. This is the prequel book to the Between Dawn and Dusk series. So this is book number 0.5. You can, I want to say, read this book by itself if you've never read any of these books in the series, or you can read it after you read book one. Book one in this series is The Faking's Curse that a lot of people have talked about that I love. I read that book first. And so this is the romance story about the hero from the first books, parents and how they fell in love and got together. So this is a fantasy romance novella. It takes place in this fantasy land and uh, Kirth is the king of the night realm and our heroine's gr father's greatest enemy. So it's a rivaling family's romance. That's why it's forbidden because um, Kirth and what's our heroine's name? I don't remember. Zella. Zella. Kirth and Zella cannot be together because her father despises Kirth. So the way that you're able to find your mate in this fantasy land is to like look into your, their eyes like you can immediately tell that that's your mate. And so they see each other one day and they immediately know and they want to be together. However, when our heroine like tells her father that she found her mate and it's Kirth, he is furious and locks her up in a tower um, with no escape until Kirth comes for her and breaks her out of the tower and they run away together. I don't give a lot of novellas five stars. That's very telling for this book. And the forbiddenness to it just heightened the tension and angst between the two of them. And like the stakes were just so high for them. It was so entertaining to read about. Next I have Again the Magic by Lisa Klaibus. This I feel like is the epitome of a forbidden romance, honestly. So this is about Aileen and McKenna. Aileen is the daughter to this very wealthy, high in society man. And she has fallen in love with a stable boy on their property, which is a no-no, obviously, uh, because she is of higher standing than him. Her father hears wind about their relationship and tells Aileen, if you do not force this boy to leave and never think about you again and never come back, I will find someone to unalive him. And so to save his life, she tells McKenna that she does not love him that she never loved him, that she used him to get him to leave. His heart is completely shattered. He believes everything that she says and he goes to America to make a man out of himself. He comes back years later, filthy rich, with plans on getting revenge on Aileen. And he has no idea the real reason why she pushed McKenna away. And when he figures it out, boy, does, boy, boy is he remorseful. <laughs> this is a very forbidden relationship. You only get to 
really see the forbiddenness of it. You mainly get the forbidden part when they're younger. They have to sneak around. It is beautiful. Like this book is very beautiful and I get why it's some people's favorites because it is so worth the hype. Next I have The Warlord Once Forever by Cressley Cole. This is the prequel book in the Immortals After Dark series but I don't recommend reading this book first. I would ask Jen from the book refuge. She knows this answer and she's told me this answer before on when to read this book but I don't recommend reading it first if you've never read the Immortals After Dark series. I recommend starting with book one and maybe reading a couple in the series and coming back to this one. But anyway, ask Jen for the reading order. I have no idea. So yeah, this is the romance between Nikolai and Mist. Nikolai is, an, is a vampire. And in this world, vampires, their bodies are like dormant or dead until they meet their fated mate. And then their body comes alive. Like their heart starts beating. They essentially like can't really live the same if their mate is not with them that they found. And so Mist kind of like awakens him, but leaves him somewhat tortured because she sees him and leaves and they haven't seen each other in five years. And he has been searching for her for years and is pissed off. <laughs> but the main reason why Mist runs away is because her family would not approve of her having a mate that's a vampire. Like that is completely forbidden. Vampires are known to be horrible creatures and her family would not approve. And so that's the main reason why she denies him even though she does feel an attraction for him and feel something for him so yeah they end up um meeting each other five years after they first met and nikolai has this kind of power over her which you read about in the book um i love the Immortals after dark series i feel like a few of these books in the series are very forbidden so i would check out the series in general if you're a paranormal romance fan next we have a book that literally has forbidden in the title we have the highlanders forbidden bride by donna fletcher <laughs> I recommend reading all the books in the series before you get to this one. This is the last book in the series, book four. This one is about Ronan, who you've been, like the heroes of the other books, his brothers have been trying to find him in the past couple books. You find out what happens to him um, in this book. And he ends up kidnapping the daughter of his sworn enemy um, in hopes of getting some information out of her. And um, little does he know that he may fall in love with her. Um, this is a Forced proximity romance, a one bed trope. The forbidden aspect in here was high because she is the daughter of his enemy. And he also thinks that she unalived his true love, but she might actually be the person he's in love with and just doesn't know it. <laughs> if you love historical romances, if you love Highlander romances, please check this series out if you have not yet. Next, I have an alien romance for you. We have Toxic Desire by Robin Lovett. This one is a huge enemies to lovers romance as well. This is the romance between Nimona and Otin. Nimona is a human woman and they are at war with this alien species. The humans are at war with this alien species that Otin is a part of. So Otin and his crew end up commandeering her spaceship with all of her crew. And as Otin and Namina are um, fighting, they end up accidentally getting released to a space pod and crash landing on this planet they've never heard about before. The planet's name is Ferian, and it has this toxin aphrodisiac in the air where if you're not constantly doing it or doing something, you will be in constant pain. And so they have to essentially use each other to survive on this planet even though they hate each other. It's forbidden because they are from human and an alien species that are at war. Like they are at war with each other. They should not be together. But yeah, they end up having to use each other on this planet and they end up getting to know each other and realizing that they are more than their like race, their alien race and their human race, you know? I love this one. This is a great alien romance series. It is hot, hot. It takes place on an aphrodisiac planet for goodness sake. <laughs> Next, we have a really forbidden book. We have Withering Hope by Layla Hagan. This is one of the very few books that has cheating in it that I love. Like this book, I love this book. And I don't like cheating at all. That's a big no-no for me. This book kind of like doesn't really matter to me, okay? So Amy is actually on her way to her destination wedding in Brazil. And Tristan is the pilot of the plane that she is on. And it's like a private plane. So they're the only two people on this plane. Their plane crashes in the Amazon rainforest. They basically have to fight to survive together and through them being stuck in the rainforest with no help, no means of rescue for years, they fall in love. It's one of the very few, I wanna say like two or three romance books that the cheating did not bother me in this because they think, <laughs> again, it's groaning sorry um this is one of the few romance books one out of like three books that um 
the cheating does not bother me because they literally think they are not going back to civilization. There is no way they could even see other people. It's not like she like immediately jumps on him, you know, like it takes months and maybe even years for her to slowly like get over the guilt she is feeling for having feelings for another man in this situation. It is forbidden the fact that she has a fiance. So um, if you don't like cheating, may pick this one up because it's one of the very few books the cheating did not bother me at all next we have a favorite we have never cities of scott by maya banks another historical romance for you um this is about eveline and graham eveline's parents try to get her in a in a marriage with this evil man that basically told eveline that he would use and abuse her when they were married eveline decides to escape and run away from the situation she ends up falling off her horse and loses her hearing from it. No one knows this though. They think that because of her fall, she has injured her head and she is not the same. She does not speak anymore. She doesn't tell anybody that she's actually deaf and just can't hear um, and she can read lips because she doesn't want to be forced into that marriage with that awful man. So Eveline's clan is at war with another clan and it's Graham's clan. clan Graham is the clan leader. The king of the land is like, hey, I, I really don't want these families to fight anymore. So I'm gonna force them to get an arranged marriage and an alliance together. So he forces Eveline and Graham to get married. So it's forbidden the fact that they should not want to be together because they're from rivaling families. But right when Eveline hears Graham, like she can hear him, like she can hear his low baritone voice and she is enthralled. She wants him to just keep speaking. And Graham decides to marry her and takes her to his clan and he realizes that this woman is actually deaf she's not she's not she doesn't have um like brain damage or anything like that like she just can't hear him and they end up falling in love and it is a beautiful book i love this one so much i talk about this book so much on my channel so probably not new to y'all so yeah <laughs> next i have a paranormal romance for you we have moonlight by Vista kessler this is the first book in the moon series i have read this entire series and it is a very underrated series. <laughs> I love it. So this is about Adam, who is the um, heir to his wolf pack. He is a werewolf shifter in this like paranormal universe. Um, jaguar shifters are wolf shifters sworn enemies. And he thinks that there are jaguar shifters going around trying to out their shifter selves um, because shifters are like a secret in society. And so he thinks that these jaguars are killing a bunch of people and they're at risk for outing shifters to the world. And so he ends up tracking down this panther shifter he thinks is trouble and finds her in a diner. And right when he sees her, he knows that that is his mate. Her name is Lana and she does not know that she is a jaguar shifter. She just wakes up in the middle of the night sometimes in the middle of the woods with no clothes on, not knowing what the heck happened to her. Adam is very frustrated because he did not think his fated mate would be a sworn enemy and so um he slowly starts to realize who lana is though actually and that uh she's not killing anyone she does not know what's happening to her when she shifts and doesn't even know that she can't shift so he helps teach her about the shifter world and everything like that and they end up falling in love i think this series is so underrated i think it's super duper fun all of them are about shifters give it a go if you're interested and lastly i have falling from the sky by serena bowen so this is about hank who used to have everything he used to be an olympic snowboarder until he got in an accident which left him with the inability to move his legs so he is a wheelchair user now he uses a wheelchair and our heroine here is the new physical therapist for him and so it's for it forbidden because she's not supposed to fall in love with a patient and he should not fall in love with a physical therapist. And um, I just the discussion in here specifically about disability is great. I go see a physical therapist because of my disability. And um, the discussion about all of that was just amazing. But yes, it is forbidden because that's her client, you know? Um, but yeah, they end up falling for each other. And I thought this was re really sweet and cute. And I really enjoy Serena Bowen's writing. Anyways, there you have it. Those were some forbidden romance recommendations for you. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. And again, my uh, part one to Forbidden Romance Rex is going to be linked down below for you to watch. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, leave me a um, a moon emoji because I talked about Moonlight by Lisa Kessler. <laughs> uh, but anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all!